Let us continue playing Darkest Dungeon, where we now have our couple of temps. Um, I also have to take more than a couple of temps, because obviously I want these... Actually, no, I do need to take another one. Yeah, they're with. Uh, obviously, if I take a Crusader, I can only take... Well, I can only take one of these two anyway. Beast Hater, bonus to range skills, fascinated with corpses, probably not. Oh, minus 5% to that, so that's terrible. Where are we going to be adventuring anyway? If we're adventuring the Warrens, then I might take you just on that basis. Yeah, so adventuring the Warrens. So pretty much what we are going to do here is a very, very minimalist run. There we go. A mighty sword arm anchored by holy purpose. So, a zealous warrior. we have you. We have, which one of these do we want to take? I think we'll take Ronald. He's reasonable at back. Look just from that little corner that you might have a disease, which would be very odd for a starting character, but still. Have you there, and we'll have you in position three. Okay, let's provision up. We really don't need to take anything with us here. We've already got one of the free items we need. I'm going to take four food, which will deal with one, one of those, one of those. I'm not taking any torches, because as we've established, doing things in the dark can be fun. Actually, with the amount of food being there, I think I might want to take... See, I I'd lose almost all the value if I take it. No, four food's fine. We got that. We can get more food from that if needed. Got bandage, thing, holy water, key. I could take one torch, just on the off chance that... The only thing I know that we need the torch for is actually the shambler. Um, icon, which triggers that, which is why when Zelly went and um, just decided to activate it for no reason, it didn't work. But honestly, Shambler with three new people doesn't sound like a good idea. We'll take one torch, just in case emergencies happen. So, short adventure in the Warrens, 90% of rooms. Honestly, the only reason we're doing this is to make money. To prosecute our war against the swine, we must first scout their squalid homes. So... Looking at things then, one, two, this is a really horrible layout. I guess I could do something along that sort of line. The other thing we don't want to lose is we don't want to lose Ronald at the back. Ronald, losing Ronald at the back would be quite bad. Okay, so what have we got for options? We've got stun you. Resisted and moved you forward. Munch. Can do a lot to you. You got high at your plague doctor. Okay. Sniper shot eleven. I did upgrade your weapons to level three, so you actually do have quite a lot of good stuff here. Um. Let's open vein nine and bleed. Accusation. Eh, since we just need a little damage here. Do that. Clear the corpses. We can slice. It's definitely a melee is high women rather than a um Rather than the ranged one that Marijan is. It's quite an interesting build on this. Given that I've got no real I don't really want to keep these guys, as far as I can tell. There's really no harm in that. Here we go. Which we find nothing. Onwards. We find the torch. Shall we skulk in the dark like monsters ourselves? That is exactly the plan. We have somehow surprised them, though. So with that, one down. Orientating blast clears the corpse, stuns you. Slice for nine. And you can do three damage to the back one. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Yeah, might as well heal yourself. You don't really have a lot else going for you at this stage, so. Ah, vomit on the back. For zero and twelve stress. Managed to resist the disease, which is good. 
Because I didn't want to have to spend money curing that. Critical dice. I suggest around the item. It's uncommon though. Good news is we are now getting a plus to um, plus to loot at this stage with the light being down that far. Obviously I have to skip one room, so if I head back up here. Enjoy the dark. Let's use a bandage. Yes, nice. We even got a load of food for that. But I'm more interested in loot. Hunger. Perfect timing to pick up some more um, food. And now, the darkness holds dominion. That it does. Death. We have an obstacle, but we do have a shovel. No, actually, we don't have a shovel. Without tools of iron, you must rely on flesh and indefatigable purpose. Oh, this could be interesting. This might be the downside of trying this sort of strategy here. Didn't get a scout report, so we'll just move on. Hunger strikes again. Pile of bones. Purified, and the search goes like that. Okay, scout report, so we can at least see what's in the last two rooms. Nothing and nothing. Okay, we might actually not have encounters to worry about at all then. Who is the best at trap disarming here? It's probably going to be our arbalist. 70%. Actually, no, Highwayman has it, so. Move forward. Disarmed. And here is a food cart, which you must see! Fair enough. Was it worth it? Somebody set another trap, I noticed. You failed to disarm it this time, though. Mind that such missteps are the exception and not the rule. 25 stress bleed. We're not too bothered about that because, as I say, I'm getting rid of three of these people at the end of this anyway. I like even because it's taken so little time. Just do a second um, party of this. Now flip through the volumes. What's it going to do to you? Make you fearful of beasts. It's not like a good trick to have in the Warrens, really. Did on that one, though. And we're done. Turn the Hamlet. The swine folk's labyrinth may yet to be navigable. So a small amount of money there. One portrait is our only real reward. Ronald's the only one we care about with this, and unfortunately you've gained something we don't particularly like too much. Zoophobia. We might have to cure that. All the decadent horrors I have seen pale in comparison to that final crowning thing. I could not look, nor could I look away. Okay. So, Ronald, what we're going to do is we're going to treat you for that because. Send this one to journey elsewhere, for we have need of sterner stock. Another soul battered and broken, cast aside like a spent torch. Tortured and reclusive, this man is more dangerous than he seems.
These salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Rest disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. the weapon that cuts on its own. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. your step.
darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Another mariner, another misfortune. Just lapse in concentration. A powerful 
This expedition at least promises success. Disappointment. A decisive pummeling. and pride precipitates a dizzying fall. At last, wholesome marine life can flourish, if indeed there is such a thing. All my life, I could feel an insistent gnawing in the back of my mind. It was a yearning, a thirst for discovery that could be neither numbed nor sated.
task ahead is terrible, and weakness cannot be tolerated. The raw strength of youth may be spent, but his eyes hold the secrets of a hundred campaigns. What better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? is broken. Maintain the offensive. Continue the onslaught. 
destroy them all. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. surges as the enemy crumbles. at the very precipice of oblivion. More blood soaks the soil, feeding the evil therein.
as victories mount, so too will resistance. This is made manifest. Unnerved, unbalanced. Survival is a tenuous proposition in this sprawling tomb. Sin is not in being outmatched, but in failing to recognize it. Great adversity has a beauty. It is the fire that tempers. Remember days when the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern. This one has become vestigial, useless.
barbaric rage and unrelenting savagery make for a powerful ally. Shoot, bandage, and pillage. The dancing steps of war. To those with a keen eye, gold gleams like a dagger's point.